Hey guys, uh, this is working. I uh, thought we'd try something different today. I'm going to do a video um, and let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm basically doing this because I'm running out the door and I don't have a whole lot of time, but I wanted to get this information out to you. Um, and I figured a video would be the best way I could do it. Um, it takes me a while to do the, uh, the uh, analysis via text. Um, if you enjoy that more than this video, let me know. If you enjoy this video more than the text, let me know that as well. Um, digging right in here to Bitcoin, I've got the one week chart up. I'm looking at Bitfinex right now, USD. Um, if you've been following me, you know that uh, all eyes right now are on this 6,000 to 5,800 support line. Uh, we did have Bitcoin attempt to break it yesterday. It dropped down to, I believe it was 5,770 um, and was immediately rejected. Um, so technically, while that did break this support line, I do not call that a decisive break by any measure. In fact, within less than an hour, it had jumped from that 5,770 up to above 6,300, I believe it was, and then it settled down uh, to just under 6,200, and now we're trading just above that now. So that does tell you that the bulls still, all, still are in this fight. Um, right now, we're approaching the apex of the 6,000 to 5,800 support and this massive descending resistance line. This descending resistance line is no joke. Um, it has been tested one, two, three, four, five times on the weekly chart, um, and it is either going. It, it is a strong line. If the bull, if the bulls can break past this line, that is going to be a major win for them. Um, does that mean that where this downtrend is over? No, but it does mean we are, in essence, breaking a trend if um, if we can break past this descending resistance line um, that is it's been following since, uh, let's see, that's just since May. Bitcoin's been, I mean, almost scratching like a wild animal trying to get out of here and just has been unable to. Um, if this support breaks, if we do have a decisive break below this support line of uh, 6,000 to 5,800, by decisive, I would say, um, if, a, if on the four hour chart we have a candle that open and closes below 5800, that would be a decisive break in my book. We are more than likely going to drop down to this ascending support line here that I've got. This ascending support line is, is basically a critical support line. I'm calling it a critical support. I say that because it has, it, it has been, um, we, technically Bitcoin has been uptrending ever since this, this ascending support line, which basically goes all the way back um, to mid-2017. Um, so technically, Bitcoin, even though we went up to 20K and lost almost 70%, technically, we've still been in an uptrend. If you guys remember where Bitcoin was last year, I believe this time last year, it was somewhere around 2,500 or so. Um, so <laughs> that's not too bad. If you bought Bitcoin this time last year, you're doing really, really well still, um, all things considered. Um, if Bitcoin does break below this 6,000 uh, or does break below 5,800 decisively, and next stop is probably going to be this ascending support line. Um, that's going to be somewhere around the $5,000 area. Um, if it does break past this descending support line, or excuse me, descending resistance line, um, the next area we're going to watch is the second ascending resistance line um, right here. Heading over into my count, um, what do I think the count is? Uh, guys, there are so many different ways you can count this, um, and I've been talking to a few buddies of mine that uh, uh, literally do this for a living. I'm personally retired. I do this for a living technically, but uh, I, you know, <laughs> I, I, I basically trade for fun nowadays. Um, I've made a lot of money doing it. I've had a great time doing it, um, and uh, now I just kind of do it for fun. Uh, my goal with these videos are to try to help you guys as much as possible. I obviously don't do this for the few dollars I make on Steemit. I do it uh, just to try to, uh, you know, when, when I first got into trading, I had somebody uh, helping me out. And uh, I, I basically, not to get too personal, but I mean, I went, I had some medical issues, and I basically had um, spent a lot of time just in bed in the hospital recovering and had months and months and months and months and months to do nothing but eat, sleep, and breathe trading. Um, it's amazing what you can teach yourself um, in a short amount of time. Um, I've been trading for years and years and years, but only seriously for about the last uh, eight months or so. Um, anyway, don't know why I got off on that tangent. Uh, i just give you a little bit of information about me. The reason I do this, guys, is to just try to give back a little bit to the community. I love cryptocurrency. Um, absolutely love it. I do believe it's the future. I know a lot of people laugh at me. I've got a friend of mine who's uh, he's a Wall Street guy and he's not sold on crypto yet, but hey, he's coming around. Um, anyway, getting back to all that uh, sidebar, getting back to the analysis, um, I do believe that we are in a WXY pattern. Um, I believe that Bitcoin tried to, uh, we had a clear ABC pattern here. Um, 
and then we had we tried to break out with an impulse wave here that just ended up failing this is our x wave we had a b c and now we've got c trying to find the bottom is the bottom in already yeah could be bottom could be in i mean i could count out five waves here um to to make a c wave or we could have c wave going down a lot further um we could have it going down to the 5000 area even lower than that um or the bottom could be in guys i mean we're just gonna have to watch these descending um excuse me we're gonna have to watch these support um, and resistance lines and react accordingly as of now i do believe we're in an abc correction we're looking for uh the bottom of c um, to complete the WXY pattern. Uh, if you don't know what a WXY pattern is, it's basically just a pattern um, that connects two ABC corrections with a failed wave in the middle, calling that the X wave. Um, going over to the um, four hour chart, Bitcoin, what, this, first of all, the eight, <clears throat> excuse me guys, sorry about that. The eight-day EME was acting as resistance here for quite a long time. Uh, Bitcoin decisively broke above that, just massively broke above that in less than an hour yesterday. Uh, quickly broke above the 21-day um, EME, or excuse me, EMA, and um, quickly went back under. It was acting as resistance for most of the day yesterday, and today we've broken above the 21-day EME. That is bullish. For now, we are still in a downtrend. That does show you that the bulls have not given up yet. They are putting up a fight. Is this all just manipulation? Um, is this all just a bull trap to trap people into long positions? It's possible, guys. I mean, we've seen that countless times in the past. Um, if I go back to my weekly chart, I mean, how many times has Bitcoin spiked just to have us immediately drop back down? So, yeah, that could be a bull trap. I'm not sure right now. Um, like I said, we're just going to have to, um, we're, you're just going to have to trade smart, manage your risk, um, and watch the indicators. Hang on one second, guys. I'm sorry. I've got my nephew over here and he is bugging me in the background. Stand by. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Okay. Cute kid. Anyway, um, where was I? Yeah, we've just broken above the 21-day EMA, um, and right now I would assume that this is probably going to start acting as resistance. Um, we will see. It looks like the 8-day EMA is uh, possibly going to cross over the 21, which would be another bullish indication, another sign of market, the market strengthening, um, but we'll just have to keep an eye out and see. Um, looking at the 4-hour MACD, uh, it, it, it's been bullish since yesterday. It's showing no sign of reversing at this point at all. Um, so continuing to look very bullish right now. Um, again, does this mean the bottom is in? Does this mean the bulls are back in town? Nope, not at all. Um, right now, things are looking good. Right now, things are looking positive. I'm making small little trades here and there. Um, but no, I'm by no means entering any long position on Bitcoin at this point at all, other than the uh, long positions that I've been keeping for the last uh, six months. Uh, get it, I keep getting asked this question, um, how much of my portfolio do I hold? I've got about 20% of my portfolio in coins that I'm holding, um, that I will not sell, that I'm holding for the long haul. Uh, about 80% of my portfolio is in fiat right now. Um, with that, I use to uh, make small trades here and there, but, uh, you know, scalp trades here and there. But uh, as far as long positions, no, I'm not entering any long positions yet. Um, I do not for I do not think that the uh, bottom is in. It may be. Uh, it's very possible that it is. I hope that it is. I'm a bull at heart, guys. I'm not a bear at heart. I mean, it kills me to watch this market go down the way it is, even though I'm still making some money in it. Um, I'm a bull at heart, guys. When I short the market, I feel like I'm cheating the market, um, especially when I know there are a lot of guys out there that are losing money. Um, that don't short this market or can't. If you live in the U.S., it's a little more difficult to short the market than in other areas. Um, but uh, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Hang on one second. Lydia, can you can you hang on one second, guys? Okay, sorry about that. Um, so anyway, uh, where was I? Looking at the four-hour MACD, um, it is looking very bullish, showing no signs of reversing at this point. But uh, we'll have to keep an eye on it and see. Uh, looking at the one day RSI, uh, we had this bear trap or excuse me, this bull trap, um, where we broke out. It was looking very bullish immediately went right back into this wedge. Um, and now it looks like it's trying to break out again. Um, this would be again, another, uh, I mean, we've been, we've been in this downtrend on the RSI since early May. 
actually going back to even prior to Masons, it looks like at the right at the end of April. Uh, so a breakout of this wedge would be a very bullish indication. It was certainly a decisive breakout, I should say. We had a breakout. It went immediately back in. A decisive breakout of this wedge would be bullish. Um, it would end, It may not indicate a complete trend reversal. Uh, does, in other words, are, does that mean we're going to go into a bull market? No. Does it mean we are breaking a trend, one of the bearish trends, one of many bearish trends that we need to break to come out of this uh, um, bearish downtrend overall? Yes, um, it would mean that. So let's see what happens here. Let's see if Bitcoin can break out um, decisively of this wedge here. Um, and if it does, that'd be a great indication. Um, if not, if it goes right back into this wedge, um, again, we're coming to the apex here and it's gonna have to make a decision one way or another. If we break even lower, um, below this wedge, uh, guys, we're probably going down to, if we break below um, the, what is this, about uh, 27 RSI or so, um, if we break below that, yeah, we're probably going down to about at least 5,000 or so. Um, I'd be, that's just a guess, um, just eyeballing it here. But uh, something we need to keep an eye on for sure. Um, looking at the one day MACD, this is actually very interesting um, looking right now. We've, Bitcoin since the beginning of June has attempted to break out. Uh, two other times, we had a crossover once, twice, and now it looks like it's attempting to cross over three times. Um, oftentimes, uh, I mean, you could see, you could just feel the indecisive nature of Bitcoin right now. I mean, look at this. This is this is very on a daily chart. This is unusual to see, um, especially on a Bitcoin chart. Um, so, is this going to finally break out and uh, attempt to or begin a? a, a is this the bottom is what I'm trying to say and it's going to break out and we're going to start an uptrend yeah it's very possible um, or we could break out to the downside um, I know that sounds like I'm being wishy-washy guys I know that sounds like you know your typical um, BS answer and I don't mean it to be uh, I'm just I'm I'm trying to be completely transparent and honest with you guys in this market it is extremely difficult to predict the future um, we can only look at our indications especially with Bitcoin especially with the amount of manipulation that's going on um, right now but uh, I, I, right now, this looks like a lot of consolidation, and it looks like it's probably going to end up breaking one way or another um, in the next day or so. Uh, we will see. Another interesting, if I get rid of the uh, signal line and the MADC line, or MACD line and we just go down to the histogram, you can see the histogram since, uh, since mid-February has been getting squeezed tighter and tighter and tighter um, to the point to where it cannot get squeezed any tighter. Um, this also tells me that we are probably getting to a point to where Bitcoin is going to either reverse course and start up uh, and start a, uh, a rally and start, um, we basically have already seen the bottom and we're going to start to rise or we're going to start a massive downtrend even further than we already have. Um, which is it going to be? As I said, guys, I, I don't know. I don't know. This is why um, I'm only doing quick day trades, quick scalp trades, and that's it. I'm entering no more long positions other than 20% I've got allocated for long positions. Other than that, um, I'm, I've got everything in fiat. Right now, in fact, I think I've closed. Let me, yeah, right now, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in any trade at the moment. Um, so my last trade, I think, filled at uh, 5,900. I sold at 63, um, and uh, that was the last trade I've done. Uh, and mostly because I've been bogged down with family stuff, but that's a whole other story. All right, uh, going to my uh, bullish count. I promised you guys a possible bullish count. If the bottom is in, and that's a big if, if the bottom is in, if this C wave is in, and we've completed the WXY pattern that I've talked about, um, which, again, is possible. I can count out five waves here, one, two, three, four, and five. Um, then if, if that is the case, then we may start, we may start trending up. Um, and like I said, that massive descending resistance line that we talked about earlier, um, if we can break above that, that would be a trend change. Does it mean that that is the trend change? No, that is just one of many um, bearish trend changes, bearish, bearish, bearish trends, excuse me, guys, uh, that is one of many bearish trends that need to be broken. Um, and if that does break, it'd be a certainly a win for the bears, or excuse me, a win for the bulls. Does that mean we've won the war? Nope, but it certainly would be a win. A, uh, a uh, uh, We certainly will have won that battle. Um, so we're just keeping an eye on this. We're waiting to see what Bitcoin does. Um, but there is a possible bullish count here. You can make a case for a bullish count. The bulls are have not um, have not died yet. Um, zooming in a little bit closer, this is the four-hour chart. 
um, we can see that uh, you can count this one of two ways. Um, some people are counting this as a one, two. This is hard to see with the uh, um, retracement tool out here, but this is actually a wick down to about uh, 60, uh, 6050 or somewhere thereabouts. So you count this as one, two, and starting a third wave here. Personally, I think it makes more sense um, to count this all as one impulse wave as one, and now we're starting down uh, for a two, pulling out our fib retracement. Um, I would guess if if this is in fact the bottom and we have reversed course and this is an uptrend, and like I said, this is not my primary account, guys, but if that is the case, um, that would be a massively bullish uptrend, and my guess would be we'd probably retraced only about the uh, 0.382 fib level um, would be my guess where we'd see a bounce uh, to begin wave three. Um, if it only retraces to the 0.236, that would be a massively bullish sign. We'll just have to see. And that is if this is the count. Guys, this is not my primary count, but it is a contender uh, for a bullish count. It is a possibility as of this point. Um, one thing to note, this would be a 1-2 with 3 on the way. Um, the third wave would be the wave that is typically the longest and usually the strongest wave of the five waves. Um, according to Elliott Wave Theory, wave three is often the longest and usually the strongest wave. We're going to need the strongest wave to break through this massive descending resistance line that we've talked about. Um, so is it a coincidence that this would be wave three, the longest and strongest wave, and that is also the wave that's going to break through this resistance line? Coincidence? I mean, is it fate? I don't know, guys. I certainly hope so. We'll see. Uh, going into uh, my bearish count, you guys know this count by now. It's been slightly revised. Um as I've had to keep up with the uh, with current price action, um, but my bearish count remains about the same. And unfortunately, this is still my primary count. Um, we've got Bitcoin going down into one. Uh, the uh, the bottom of wave one here um, is that uh, five seven seven zero bottom wet wick, which went right back up to a two. Assuming this is the top of the two, and we're coming down to a three. Now this is a conservative target for three. I'm only targeting. Um, 100% of wave one, which again, wave three is often the often the longest and often the strongest of the five waves. Also, guys, looking at this from a bear, the bearish perspective, we've got to have a massive wave to break through this 6,000 to 5,800 uh, resistance. This is still a fairly strong resistance, um, as was when as it was when when it was tested here, um, breaking just below immediately. The uh, bears or the bulls said no way. Um, and rejected it. So obviously it's going to take a lot of momentum to break down. Um, wave three should provide that momentum. Is it just coincidence that now we've got a wave three to break past that uh, 6,000 to 5,800 support zone? Um, is that fate? I don't know, guys. Um, I mean, we've got contenders both being wave threes for a bullish and a bearish count. Both wave threes would break through a massive support or resistance point. Um, so at this point, it could go either way. I'm leaning towards considering that we are in a downtrend. We are still in a downtrend, even with this massive up, um, even with this massive little rally that we've had. Um, we are still technically in a downtrend, obviously. Um, so this has to be my primary count. Um, again, a conservative target for wave three would be uh, just targeting uh, a one-to-one -one ratio from wave one that would bring us down to about 5315 mm -hmm. uh, for wave three. Now, again, if wave three is the longest and the strongest of the wave, we could probably come down a lot lower than that. I'm just trying to be conservative here. Conservative target for wave three would be about 5215. Once we get the bottom of wave three, I'll be able to predict a wave four and a wave five with more accuracy. Right now, I'm putting wave five somewhere about 5,000. Coincidentally, that would also be about where it would intersect with the, if you remember at the very beginning, uh, the ascending, uh, ascending support line would intersect right about 5,000, right about here would be the end of wave five, would be the end of those five waves down we were talking about earlier. So that's about it, guys. This video is a lot longer than I thought it would be. I apologize for that. As I said, going forward, uh, I, I'm going to make these videos hopefully about five minutes or less. I'm just going to try to give you the facts. We're going to go over them very, very quickly, and then we're going to move on. Um, if you've liked this video, if you like this more than you like my text analysis, please let me know. Give me a restream or an upvote. Um, I certainly do appreciate that, guys. Like I said, I don't do this for the money, but it certainly lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content um, 
And um, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask me in the comment question. I'm happy to, or in the comment section, I'm happy to answer your questions. Um, and until next time, guys, be safe. Make sure you're, uh, please, guys, my goal here, as I said, is to make sure you guys do not lose money. Um, and if you're going to if you're going to trade this market, obviously it's a highly volatile market. It's a highly risky market right now. Um, any analyst that's telling you buy, 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 um, I, I mean they're either shilling something or you know they don't have your best interest at heart. It's a lot easier to be positive and say we're going to the moon. That usually attracts a lot more likes, a lot more clicks, a lot more upvotes. It's a lot harder to tell you guys the truth. And the truth is right now, guys, um, you know we are stirring this downtrend. Um, and uh, you guys know, need to be vigilant and making sure that you're not uh, you're not um, risking any more than you can afford to lose. And with that, I wish you guys all the best. Until next time, this is Working Signing Out. Take care.